what's up? Uh, I'm Daniel, VP of Engineering at Amino. Uh, we are a payments company, and uh, we are using transparency to solve a lot of the problems that uh, Mike was just talking about. Uh, we want to reduce fraud, uh, waste, and abuse in the uh, supply chain. Uh, a lot of our ideas uh, and, and technologies are inspired by blockchain, uh, but we've still had to make concessions as to uh, where we could use it and where we cannot. Uh, let's start with uh, the big problem. I like talking to Mike Freiberger. Uh, so basically, uh, the big thing is volume, right? Uh, if all of us were to write every transaction we were involved with onto the blockchain, uh, we, would, we would end up melting something, right? So I'm picking on Mike here, and that's uh, because he already presented and can't defend himself. Uh, but I, I feel like Mike's up for just, just about anything. Uh, so uh, yeah, moving on. We, uh, so what did we do to, to solve this problem? We split our stack. Uh, we have a high volume off-chain uh, stack. We use a centralized ledger. Uh, it's ready for ad tech scale. Uh, it's modular, so as things improve and, and blockchain progresses, uh, we can move more and more items over to blockchain. Uh, it may not be as cool as blockchain, but uh, what we do is actually really quite cool. Uh, separately, we're working with Hyperledger. Um, this will allow us to connect with our customers on data. Uh, it also aids us in reconciliation, uh, which allows us to uh, reconcile quickly and, and then settle payments quicker. So first, nice animation, right? Uh, first, we're, uh, we're going to talk about our high volume stack. So what you'll find here is, is stuff you're probably used to if you work in a high volume environment. Uh, we do streaming, batching, app servers, that sort of thing. Uh, but you'll also find kind of a primordial mix of blockchain components uh, mixed in. Uh, you can see here that we handle several types of calls. Uh, the first one, and, and most obvious, is pay. So those are actual payments. We provide an SDK to our customers to sign those transactions, and then they send them in to us. Uh, we also uh, serve an, a pixel along with every advertisement being paid for, and, uh, and we receive some information from verification providers. All of these come in through plain vanilla HTTPS in our app servers. Uh, the app servers have one purpose, and that is to serialize the data they're receiving and get it into our stream and batch stack. Uh, what this stack here, you could kind of think of this as uh, a Merkle tree uh, factory. Uh, we heard a little bit about those before. Uh, and, and what's going on, you can see these structures being built. We'll talk about them in a, in a minute. Those are amino chains. Uh, and as stuff exits the stream batch stack, it goes into our centralized ledger. So let's take a look at what an amino chain is. Amino chains. Uh, is basically a data structure we've created. Uh, and as you can see here, it gives great visibility into what is happening uh, with an ad buy. This chain here represents just a single impression. Uh, you can see money flowing from the brand into the publisher. Uh, we operate on a currency called grains. It's tied to US currency. One grain is one nanocent. Uh, and you may ask, why, why would someone tell the truth here if, if they wanted to hide how much they were keeping, right? We, we execute the payments, so we can enforce this data. If they misreport what they're paying to the next person in line, we're actually going to give that money to the next person in line. Uh, one cool thing about uh, these chains is if you stack a bunch of them together, you end up with a graph. So. Uh, this graph structure is really great. It provides an excellent overview into uh, where any single party in the chain uh, is, is, is spending their money or receiving their money. Uh, this is from the perspective of a brand. Uh, we have a UI connected to our centralized ledger, which in near real time can produce this kind of data for our customers. So, we get a bunch of chains in our amino ledger, which is centralized. Uh, and then in order to get them into uh, a blockchain in a reasonable manner, we aggregate them up into uh, one hour chunks, and we stick them up into IBM's cloud, uh, where, where we host our hyperledger. Let's take a more uh, 
ledger-centric view or hyperledger-centric view of our stack. Uh, if you look here, you can see uh, event data is flowing from, these are some, some customers we're working with, event data is flowing into uh, our, our, our fast processing stack here and then into the Amino Ledger, just like the previous slide. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, uh, you can also see all of these customers are connecting on uh, another shared ledger. This allows them to uh, either privately or publicly share smart contracts. So we think of these as generally terms that they're agreeable to when doing ad buys or sales. Um, so as the data moves from our Amina ledger into the centralized ledgers, I'm sorry, the, the distributed ledgers, uh, we can execute contracts. Uh, these contracts, you can see here, are we're receiving data from the data vendors like IAS uh, and White Ops. They're providing some metrics on uh, the performance of, of the advertising. So these contracts were shared in advance, and if these hourly blocks that we're creating are executable, uh, we'll at this point then uh, check out the smart contracts, make sure all the terms were met, and execute them, inserting into our channel-based ledgers. These channel-based ledgers are uh, generally shared just between us and one other party, and that data contains all the chains that they were involved with. Uh, let's take a look at uh, why we like Hyperledger. Well, for one, we like being involved in an OSS community. Uh, it's backed by the Linux Foundation. Um, we love being contributors and, and receivers of support from the OSS community. Uh, their offerings are business focused, uh, which you know our, our customers are generally concerned with privacy and don't want their competitors to see how they're buying and selling ads. Uh, they offer Composer, which is very, a, a very straightforward way to produce tools to interact with the ledger, and that doesn't just benefit us, but also any customers. Uh, and IBM Cloud, in, in the same way, provides an easy way to spin up nodes, uh, which allows us to scale our ledger and you know, easily allow uh, customers to join our network. Uh, but I don't want to talk too much about what IBM is doing, because um, next we have Eileen Lowry.